Hi, KIPP AMP students. This is Ms. Allen here, your math dean. I'm going to show you how to download the app for Canvas onto your phone or tablet. This is going to be really important because this is going to be a very easy way for you to show your work and get your credit and get good grades this while we're in remote instruction. Um, again, this is to do it on your app or excuse me, on your tablet or on your smartphone. If you don't have one of those, please indicate it in the assignment in Canvas. If you do have one of those, Pause the video now and go grab it. If you want to use your parents' tablet or smartphone, pause for now and wait till they're available to loan it to you because I'm going to walk you through the steps. You want to have it right out in front of you. So again, pause if you need to go grab it. While you go grab it or while you're pausing, I am going to share my screen so that you can see me follow the steps on my iPad. Give me one second. Here we go. Great, so now you can see my iPad. And all the way down here, towards the bottom right, you can see where it says student. That is the Canvas app. So let me show you how you get it. If you're on Google, go to Google Play. Or if you're an Android person, go to Google Play. If you're an Apple person, you're gonna to go to the App Store. You're gonna type in Canvas student. You'll see it up here. There's a bunch of other things, but you see it in the top left right over here. And where it says Canvas student, you're gonna see the red icon and that's for students. You're gonna go ahead and download that. You can pause the video now while it downloads. I have already downloaded it. So I'm gonna show it back to you on my home screen. Again, pause if you need to take a second to download. So here it is down on the bottom. Looks a little weird because it doesn't say Canvas, it just says student, so you need to get used to that circular icon, and it's red because it is the student version. I'm gonna click on that. It's gonna open up to this for your first time. And that's because we've not logged in. So now I'm gonna log in. Please keep in mind, if you have a couple of kids or a couple of students in your house, you will have to use different um, logins. So I'm gonna click find my student, or find my, excuse me, it says find my school. And this is the weird part. This is the only part that like really stood out to me as a little odd. I would start typing AMP or KIPP, but that's actually not what you need to type. So I'm gonna type it in for you. And then again, I'm gonna prompt you to pause the video because it's a little bit weird. You need to type in KIPP NYC dot instructure dot com. KIPP NYC dot instructure Dot com. I'll put this in the assignment in Canvas for you to cut and paste if that helps, so I don't think you'll be able to do it from a computer to a tablet. Um, I'm also going to say pause this video and leave this up in case you need to look at it for a little while. If it doesn't work, first step is to check your spelling and structure is kind of a weird word, it's kind of like instructor, but a little bit different. But you want this to go ahead. So pause the video, type it in. Once you think you have it, press go. And if you did it right, you'll see KIPP NYC Public Schools pop up. Perfect. Now you're ready to put in your personal login information. You are a student, so you're going to click the yellow button. And you've seen this a bunch of times before. This is where you're going to put in your Chromebook, your Google, username and password that we've used for everything. We use it for Clever, we use it for Canvas, we use it for every single thing. This is linked to your account. So I'm going to put in a student's information. Do not forget the at KIPP NYC students.org. I'm going to check my spelling, make sure my numbers are right, and then I'm going to hit next. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing for one second. You should be putting your stuff in right now, so your information. I'm going to stop sharing and put in the student's password so you don't see it. Remember, it's important to make sure you have all the correct capital letters because passwords, capital letters matter. Okay, if you're not done, please pause the video. I'm gonna go ahead and continue. So again, if you've not put in your information, please pause the video. And I'm gonna share my screen again.
Okay, and if you did it correctly, you should be able to see all your courses. The first thing that popped up was to ask if you wanted notifications. I encourage you to allow the notifications. This way you'll know when a teacher's graded something, when you have something due, when something's coming up. So again, I encourage you to hit allow for notifications so you always know what's going on. This looks a little different on a tablet than on a phone. In a tablet, you can have you have a little bit more space. On a phone, you would just see the section that says courses. But right now, we can see the history course, the math course, and the science course for this teacher, and ELA and, and enrichment will pop up soon. So again, this video just showed you how to download it. You need to go back to your Canvas assignment and confirm whether you did download it, whether you need help, or whether you don't have a smartphone or tablet. And then hit submit for your teachers to take a look at that data. Tomorrow, I'm really excited to show you some videos on how you're going to show your work because you're going to need that for Friday when you have your diagnostic and had to show images of all the work you did for your very first diagnostic test. As always, please reach out to your math teachers or me, Ms. Allen, if you need any help. It was great talking to you and I will see you all tomorrow in another video.